This is the fastest way that I've found to create something like this, a word cloud, from something like this, a word document. So I'm going to walk you through that process. Why in the first place would you consider creating a word cloud from a word document? You can check for things like over usage, emotion in your words, and so on and so forth. Uh, there's a set of steps that we need to walk through, but these are really fast to do and uh, they'll help us get that word cloud. So first, we want to replace the line breaks in Word. How do we do that? So what we do is we come to our document and we say replace. And we have to enter in this really special character. Um, it's a caret and P. It's basically any line break over there. We want to get rid of it. So we can replace that with just the space there. So I just hit my space bar and do a replace all. And then I might also do that for all paragraph breaks, I think this is. Do the same thing, just put a space in. Replace all, okay, I don't have any. All right, so now I copy all this, and I go to Excel. So in Excel, we're just gonna paste all this stuff in. And it'll only give us like five rows here, but you can see that it put all that data, or all that text into one row. So we're gonna break that apart. So we go data, text to columns, and make sure you choose delimited, Go to next, and then if the safest bet here is to just do space, but uh, I put everything in here. So I'm gonna put like dashes in there too, and then I just say finish. Now we'll have like a ton of columns there, right? And let's do one thing real quick. Let's in insert a column header for every one of these. We're gonna do one, two, all the way to the end. So to make that happen, I'll just do one plus the previous number, right? And I take this, I copy that, so you can right click and say copy or just do the short key, which is hold down control and C, and then go all the way to the end, hold down shift, control, and hit your end key. And then just hold down shift still and move your arrow key up to the top there and then do control V, and that's basically like a paste. So that'd be like a paste option, you can just use that too. You can see now I've got one through all the way at the end there. If I hold down control and you can see I have 783. All right, so that's all I need here to get going. So I'll go ahead and say save, put this on my desktop, I'll call this word counter, word analysis, whatever, and we'll exit out of here. Now we need to jump to an application, Tableau, and if you don't have Tableau, most organizations have enterprise licenses for it, uh, but if you don't have it, you can just go ahead and download it for free. You get like two weeks for free from it, um, and then you can pull the trigger if you wanna buy it later. Basically, you just go to learn more and then you can download it. So once you've downloaded it, you'll have to start it up. So I'll start it from scratch here. And we'll just tap that Excel data source as our means of analysis. All right, so I ignore all that stuff. I just say Excel. And what did I call that word counter, I believe? But instead here of having like 700 different columns, what we want to do is pivot that just into two columns. So ultimately what it's going to look like is something like this. Or we've only got two columns there. So how do we do that in Tableau? It's pretty easy. You hold down the shift key and you just select that first field there. I hold down control also and then I go all the way to the end and select that last column. Okay, And then you just select that drop down on the last one and say pivot. So you can also cancel here, that's what I typically do. And then we go to sheet one. So we can rename our pivot field values here, something different than pivot field values. I usually just call this, these are the actual words in my document. And then it's important to filter out things like stop words. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna first pause this. And what that will do is just make me work a little bit faster until I wanna play it. So I just dragged words into filters here, and then I've got a list of stop words here that I found online. So I'll show you the, the link to that. So I just highlighted all those and selected copy. Once you take that to filters, it might take a minute, but you'll ultimately get this option to filter out different words. So words that aren't relevant for us, we want to maybe create a general condition uh, custom value list, and we'll paste in that list of stop words, and we'll say exclude these from our analysis. We can also add in additional ones, like I don't want, you know, maybe the word yo in there. Okay, so that's now in there. So I apply OK, and now we can build our word cloud. It's pretty simple. So from here, we've got this marks card thing, select text. All that we do is put words on text and number of records, the, the number of occurrences on size. 
and then we can play this and tap will load this up. So what I should have done there, I'm going to cancel this real quick, what I should have done there is also filtered the top N words. So we're going to do that real quickly. So we'll go up to top and maybe the top 25 words in my, in my document. Right? So now Tableau will look through this and create the visualization for us. So now we've got our word cloud here. And if you want to exclude additional things, like this thing I don't think is really a word, I can just click it and say exclude, or I can right click it and say exclude. Um, those options are there for me. At this point, if you want to share it with people, if you have Tableau Server, you can publish it to Tableau Server and share it that way. That way it's more dynamic. But if you just want a static image of this uh, word cloud, you can just go up to Worksheet and say export an image. All right. So that's how you create a word cloud from a Word document. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, email me. All right, take care.